Dear members, greeting from the city of Hamilton where the OECP board's been together the last two days. Thanks to the great hospitality of uh, Chief Gert, one of our vice presidents, and what an exciting uh, couple of days we've had discussing many relevant issues. First, I want to welcome and thank uh, a great new members to our OECP board from uh, Zone 1. We're pleased to welcome uh, Chief uh, Devine from North Bay Police Service and from Zone 2, Deputy Chief Angie McTeely from the Kingston Police Service. And we're really excited to have them on the board. They bring great representation from across the province. What an incredible meeting we've had. Lots of work, a heavy agenda. You can grab the agenda online, but we spent a lot of time discussing major issues, in particular Bill 175 and the impact of the Safer Strategy for Ontario. We are pleased to welcome Mr. Jason Fraser, uh, Counsel for the York Regional Police Service and Co-Chair of the PLA Committee to take us through the major, major items of Safer Strategy for Ontario. The Board will be preparing a larger response to share with all members as well as we discussed our future strategy in approaching the government in moving Bill 175 forward. As you know, in principle, the OECP board is generally supportive of the majority of recommendations. We do feel there's a number of pieces where we can improve, enhance, and also share some of our thoughts as chiefs of police and police leaders in Ontario. So stay tuned for that, more work to come. We also did a significant discussion around the Ontario Association of Chiefs of Police Strategic Plan. As you know, we've launched and moved forward on a five-year plan, and we're also pleased to announce that we'll be launching a working group, a sort of a two-phase approach. We want to look at our due structure, we want to look at our membership, and we will be launching a working group as we move forward, which is a key part of our strategic plan to ensure we remain sustainable, relevant, and ready for the future of policing. Of course, uh, our executive director always provides us with the footprints of the ED. And many of you don't know, but behind the scenes, the executive director and our great team do so many wonderful things and are doing so many things across the province, attending committees, attending teleconference calls on our behalf. Most importantly, we want to also recommend and, and uh, look to the future of our events. We've got a number of great things happening in 2018. We also reviewed the tremendous success of the Rotman Police Leadership Program. There's some excellent presentations. We encourage you to check them out online. We also talked a lot about the restructuring review. We are looking at our committees. We're over two dozen committees right now looking at policing committees in the province of Ontario. We're looking at how do we align with the Canadian Association of Chiefs of Police and how do we continue to support and enhance the great work of our committees. We've enlisted the work, the, uh, the work of retired Chief uh, Jeff McGuire and we do believe in February when we meet in London that we'll have a, a full report to, to go through as we plan towards uh, further board meetings with the unveiling of that uh, review at our AGM in Deerhurst in June. Of course, uh, we did also make a number of decisions around the future of OECP uh, meetings. Uh, obviously, 2018 is solidified in Deerhurst. It's going to be an action-packed agenda. We encourage you now to take advantage of the early bird rate and also book your room at Deerhurst. Uh, the staff is putting a lot of work into this. We'll have a keynote opening and a keynote closing, uh, an underlens session again, as well as a town hall session, as well as we'll welcome folks from our PLA committees, our finance and budget committees to bring a bring the membership into dialogue around uh, future challenging issues. We also solidified positions in 2019 and 2020. Uh, we're moving to a different model. We're in the position of uh, negotiating, finalizing contracts, but we're pleased to announce that in 2019, the AGM will be in the City of Toronto, and in 2020, we'll return to the beautiful Niagara region. We had a great presentation from Optic and, and uh, retired chief and past president Paul Hamlin on some of the different challenges facing the modernization of justice, uh, bringing the technology platform to, to the all police services in Ontario, and there's more to follow on that. Not to mention, we talked a lot around uh, Service Ontario and MTO's move to eliminate front license plates, validation tags. The OECP will be taking a very stern position around that. We believe that it's a public safety issue. We also believe that it provides our members with significant tools around investigative support. We've talked a lot about Bill 174 and cannabis, and there's more to follow on that. We want to recognize the great work of Chief Shalif and the York Regional Police Service around the financial impact on policing, not only in Ontario, but across Canada. We talked a lot about the announcement of naloxone. Uh, there'll be more information as we roll that out. And we also want to recognize that we respect that this is an individual chief's decision around the deployment of naloxone. We're pleased though that the government has moved on our advocacy levels and kudos uh, uh, to our staff and, and in particular Joe Kudo for all the great work in advancing that platform. The impact of the new Crown Directive. So we've had much discussion around uh, bail review, etc. Uh, we forwarded a number of items to the Justice Committee and more to follow on that. And of course, we talked about the recent Supreme Court of Canada decision. So 
a lot more to follow as we uh, continue on. There'll be uh, more announcements to follow, but more importantly, I want to take an opportunity to say thank you uh, for all your great work to all our committee chairs, to all our members, and most importantly, as we head into the holiday season, please take time to look after yourself, your families, and we wish you much peace, much prosperity for 2018. Happy holidays, season greetings, and Merry Christmas on behalf of the OECP Board.